Welcome to the Craft Cocktail. I'm Derek. That's I'm Dan. You Dan. don't get to say your name. No, I don't even, nope. No, I what? could be Bill. Who, who knows? Bill here and I are going to make the gin gimlet. Yes. Simple drink. Easy. Easy drink. Easy gin drink. Two ounces of London Dry. We're using Bulldog. London Dry Gin, obviously. It's a whole gin series. Half ounce of fresh lime juice. Half ounce of simple syrup. This is my own simple syrup. I made it. It's 101. Sugar. Water. Lime wheel. Garnish. We're going to put a garnish on this time. Unlike the salty dog where we kind of forgot it at the end. But that was nice. Uh, it's tricky. This is this was our top rated uh, London Dry that we've done in blind tasting. So I figured, you know, definitely rotate this in and out. You know what the cool definitely. thing is? Didn't realize it has like a little uh, has like a dog call. It's a dog call. It's a bulldog. I know. It's like yeah, yeah exactly. It's me. <laughs> uh, you're gonna shake and strain it. So you get rid of your scurvy. It, exactly. <laughs> See, That's right? exactly the point. This is a. This is not a medical solution. This is. Drank for medicinal purposes. Exactly. In the eight, mid 1800s, the British Royal Navy needed a solution to scurvy around 1857. So, up until the the advent and patent of Rose's lime juice, which was infused with sugar, they had a, they needed lime, and they needed it to be uh, to shelf ready, or you know, had to be able to sit on a ship. Yeah, that was important. Because, because you were on a ship for a long time back then. I don't know how long, but a long time. A long time. I mean, months, years, years. I mean, Magellan. Yeah. You want to just go to Florida? <laughs> I mean, shit. That's like six months. Yeah. Or more. Eight months. Yeah. If you don't die. Like you're not scurvy. It doesn't yeah. matter. Right. So to get that, to get that far, you infuse it with something alcohol. Gin makes the perfect. You know, it, it makes. The, makes lemon lime more palatable because exactly. lime's pretty sour. So you need your lime, you need a way to get it to your body. So the easiest thing to do is to add gin and lime together, a little sugar, because you can get that in certain areas, you know, during the, uh, when, when they invaded islands and stuff like that, you can get yeah. sugar. And then you had the, the original lime gimlet. This is not necessarily, this is a 1930s-ish, uh, I think the Savoy cocktail book covered, yeah cover this specific recipe, and then, you know, there's been modifications since the 30s. It was a while ago. 30s, that is. 30s. <laughs> that was definitely a while ago. You'll find if you go to a bar and you order a gin, a gin gimlet, this would be the only case where I wouldn't be angry if the bartender used Rose's lime juice. Otherwise, I would never, that's never mm. an acceptable solution. No. But this drink, because originally it would have been documented um, as an official cocktail uses ro using roses, it makes sense. If you want the full history about Sir Thomas Gimlet uh, and in his advent of uh, a solution to scurvy, you can go to home co homecocktailmenu.com and pick up the ebook. Big descriptions. There's lots of words. I don't have time for you to. to well, you can learn about drinks. Yeah. Gin drinks. And histories. And the history of each drink. Right. I did all the research. I have cross references. I've got links to the book that you can download for free, actually, because these yeah. books are so old. They're in the um, they're scanned in, so you can actually go through all the old recipe books and read the recipe. It's pretty cool. See, it's pretty cool. Uh, and know. you have nice pictures, so you I see like what pictures. they look like. So when you serve them to your guests, pictures. yeah, that, if you, you gotta have pictures. They they invite you in. Yes, I'm invited. You show people you're like you want to drink that, and they're like, of course. Of course they do. This drink is very simple. Tastes like gin and lime. Yes. Not, Not as sour? Maybe a little bit more sour than the fix? Um, Maybe? Or is it just because the lime is different than a lemon? Like yeah, it, it tastes to me a little bit more tart. It's more tart where the lemon's... Sourer. Yes. And this is tarter. 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 Tar yeah, tarter. That's tarter. Right. So don't get yourself some tart. You want, if you want something sour, you want to go to the, the fix. If you want something tarter, you go to the inlet. Yeah. Also, a sour, it's in the sour category, would fit in the same category as a daiquiri. You're just using gin. True. Pretty, pretty simple. Simple drink. I like it. You, you, it's nice out. Oh, yeah, this is a this is Yeah, this is drink. definitely summertime. It's nice out. Yep. Three things done, you're drinking. Three things. Hmm, three things. Yeah. Four, if you can count mowing the lawn. Yeah. I hate mowing the lawn. But that's what kids are for, so. Right, yeah. HomeCocktailMenu.com. Click the link below. You can download the ebook. 
get to make in your gin cocktails even before every one of the videos are out. That way you can taste along with us, get the sensation for how tartar -er this is compared to the sour drinks. There's a link on the side for another video and you can watch us make yet more gin cocktails. That's how we suggest you make the gimlet. The gin, gin gimlet. Gimlet.